Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in uh, discrete mathematics that to in recurrence relations. So that is non-homogeneous linear recurrence relation. So, so far we have discussed about a lot of uh, homogeneous recurrence relations and now it's time to discuss about non-homogeneous linear recurrence relations. So, already we have seen what are the different types of uh, recurrence relations in that we have covered uh, what exactly mean the homogeneous and non-homogeneous recurrence relations and for a quick glance so let us start this uh, session with the differentiating homogeneous and non-homogeneous and i'll tell you what is the general solution for non-homogeneous recurrence relations and in our next session we'll see some examples right yes so non-homogeneous linear so both are linear okay recurrence relations so here also some sort of relation will be given and we need to find the general solution for the given recurrence relation but the only difference is non-homogeneous now let us see a quick glance of uh, non-homogeneous so homogeneous homogeneous means the current term will be uh, getting or depending on exactly the previous terms okay the current term depends on or obtained from current term obtained from previous terms so ct means a current term and pt means a previous terms only previous terms coming to the next one that is a non-homogeneous non-homogeneous the current term will be obtained from previous terms and some function and some function okay so simply we can say a n is equal to the previous terms previous terms so that number of previous terms depends upon the order okay if it is a first order a n will be getting only from the immediate previous term if it is a second order a n will be obtained from two previous terms okay so previous terms plus some function of n so this we call it as a non-homogeneous so in homogeneous this function okay for homogeneous this function will not be there so a n is equal to only previous terms okay so example see fibonacci series f of n is equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 so this particular term will be getting by the addition of two previous terms so completely this term depends upon the previous terms so that's why we are calling it as a homogeneous because we are not using any other function other than the previous terms so this is a purely homogeneous for example if function of n depends upon f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 plus n if the relation is in this way for example if the relation is in this way now this is a current term so we will be getting the current term with the addition of previous two terms and the n so n doesn't belongs to the previous terms okay n doesn't belongs to the previous terms so such type of relation we call it as a non-homogeneous here n can be there okay or some constant some 3 can be there some n square 4 n okay so 3 power n so all these kind of terms doesn't depends upon the previous terms okay these are independent completely independent so here f of n minus 1 and f of n minus 2 are the previous terms so if the relation is in this way that means addition to the previous terms there is some other term which is independent to the previous term then we can call it as a non-homogeneous so first step what we have to do while 
uh, solving any kind of recurrence relation is we have to check whether it is a homogeneous or non-homogeneous. So there is a different approach. Okay. Now we'll see the non-homogeneous. What is the general solution of non-homogeneous linear recurrence relation? So everything we are uh, solving the linear equations itself, right? So general solution. The general solution for non-homogeneous recurrence relation is a n is equal to okay a n of h plus a n of p so this is the formula this is the formula where a n of h is general solution of general solution of homogeneous homogeneous recurrence relation okay so that means we can avoid this particular part and we have to follow the homogeneous solution for this part itself okay for in any any relation for example if any relation uh, we have solved a few equations like uh, uh, see a n uh, plus uh, 4 a n minus 1 minus 5 a n minus 2 okay uh, is equal to 0 so this is we know this is a second order this is a second order so this is a homogeneous because we are saying so sorry we can write like this if it is in this way okay if the same thing we are writing a n minus 1 minus 5 a n minus 2 plus 4 n so you can observe this is completely homogeneous and some function is applied to the homogeneous so what we have to do means we have to differentiate this part and this part the solution of homogeneous will be represented as a n h solution of this particular uh, term will be represented as a n p we usually call it as a particular solution okay particular solution so we have to differentiate the complete equation or relation into two parts one is a homogeneous another one is a particular solution so later we will be combining those two solutions a n of h plus a n of p a n means general solution for homogeneous general solution for particular solution so we know the procedure how to find the general solution for any homogeneous either it can be one order two order third order fourth order whatever it may be so we know we have followed some some steps okay finding of roots and based upon the result of the root we are selecting uh, the general solution of different cases right so th the same procedure will be applying in order to find this general solution of homogeneous then what about this one a n p a n p means it is a general solution it is a general solution of non homogeneous part non homogeneous part so non homogeneous part means we will call it as a particular solution particular solution so this will be the general solution this will be the particular solution so we will be representing it as h it will be as p now a n of p can be a constant okay like 3 or 5 or 20 etc etc let it be n or 4n or 5n etc or n square or n power r etc and uh, similarly 4 square n square like that so anything anything so a n of p that particular solution can be of anything so what will be the general solution for this kind of things so what will be the general solution for constant what will be the general solution for uh, this kind of uh, terms okay so that we will see and uh, first we will find the homogeneous of uh, i mean the general solution for homogeneous uh, recurrence relation and then we have to apply the general solution of these terms now i will tell you what is the general solution for all these three cases i mean all these uh, four cases so let us check so always remember 
now we are concentrating on a n of p a n of p okay a n of p and here it is general solution okay if it is a constant if it is a constant the general solution will be represented as a not there is no n value or x value or y value a not then if it is n then it becomes a not plus a1 into n if it is n square then it becomes a not plus a1 into n plus a2 into n square if it is constant power n then it becomes a not into r power n if it is r power n and n power t okay then it becomes a uh, sorry r power n into a not plus a1 into n plus a2 into n square plus and so on a t into n power t okay so this is the table we have to remember if the non homogeneous part that means if the particular solution is in these formats automatically you can directly take the general solution of this format so we need to find out the constants a not a1 all these constants we have to find out and then we have to apply in the general solution hope you understood right so the same procedure but with a little difference okay if it is a homogeneous we will be not having this ap of n okay we will be only calculating this an of h that means homogeneous but if it is a non homogeneous there will be some function applied if the function is one among these cases we have to apply the corresponding general solutions right yes so hope you understood uh, after applying this uh, this one then we have to apply the initial conditions in order to find the constants okay yes so no don't worry uh, just remember these general solutions for non homogeneous linear recurrence relations and uh, we'll solve one problem in our next session okay yes so i'll stop here if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i'll try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much